Hey Bass Geek here and I'm going to talk to you today about one of my favorite and probably my most used trailer for a jig. Alright guys, so I was watching the MLF's live stuff the other day when they were down in Raleigh a couple weeks back, a week back or something like that. I really noticed that a lot of them were using the good old chunk trailer. Now this is probably one of the trailers that I use most often, especially when I'm throwing this style, the Arky style, casting, flipping head, whatever you want to call it. And the reason why is because it's got a very subtle action, but it also gives that jig a very bulky appearance. So you put that on there, it's got a very subtle action, really no flap, no flutter. It's just a nice, smooth action to it, but it also gives the jig a little bit of bulk. During the spring, that's important because when that water temp hits those 50 degree marks, that's when those crawdads really begin to come out and get active. And that means the big ones are coming out. They're gonna molt, they're gonna mate, they're gonna lay their eggs, they're gonna be on those flat rocks. And this is something that mimics them very well. Now, you know I bought my little pond hopper boat and I know you guys are wanting to see a lot of videos out of that. I'm dying to get in it. I've got some great videos coming. Number one, I, I bought a bag. I've got a bunch of stuff that's literally sitting in boxes in my kitchen. My wife's about to kill me. But uh, for some modifications, so there's gonna be a bunch of videos on modifications and stuff, even some stuff you kayakers can use and some stuff that I actually borrowed from the kayak world to be able to set up and modify my little pond hopper boat. When I'm out in that small boat or I'm pond hopping, you know, I'm not gonna be able to carry all the gear that I carry in my bass boat. And sometimes even in my bass boat, I forget to bring certain things that I might wanna use. So all that being said, I actually forgot my big chunk trailers. The water temp was right, the situation was right to start throwing, casting, dragging that jig around. Now, I came up with a quick solution on the fly and this will actually keep you from carrying multiple trailers in your small tackle bags, your pond hopper, even in your boat. Now we've all seen the beaver baits. There's a ton of people that make these sort of uh, do nothing beaver style baits. Now one of the things I love about this bait and I use it a ton in the summer is that when you shove this bait up on here, you can see how big it is. When you shove the bait up on this, it really causes, and most of the time I use this during the summer on a football head, it really causes that skirt to flare out. It's got a lot of bulk. It's really a big bait, which is something when I'm fishing a jig offshore that I really like. But when the water is colder, in that 50 degree range or lower, when I'm fishing clear water during the summer and I want a little bit of bulk, that's when I really start using this. But I did have some of the Moabs, so here's what I did. I went ahead, and the great thing about these, what you wanna do is you wanna tear them apart about halfway down, and then I go ahead and tear off both of these appendages. So the final product looks like this. So you've still got a nice bulky chunk. It's nice and streamlined. And all you do is you thread that chunk right through the middle, straight on to your bait. And you've got the same sort of profile, the same sort of action. It's gonna give it a little bit of bulk it's gonna give it a little bit of length, and you get that same chunk action out of your jig trailer. So now you can carry one version of jig trailer and use it for two different things, two different styles, two different applications, and a lot of the times throughout the entire season, that little Moab is really gonna be my go-to a lot of the time. Now, one of the things about the jig that you're gonna see is that during the colder water, I don't trim that jig a whole lot, especially if I'm putting a chunk on. I kinda want it to come right down to the very edge. And the reason why is because in clear water or cold water, 
I want something that's subtle. So when that bait drops and it hits, I want it to flare, but I want it to come back together in a nice streamlined, you know, compact package. I don't want it flaring up. You know, to me in colder water, that's really going to discourage, or even in clear water, it's really gonna look a little unrealistic. And so, especially with this, this is a tungsten jig from uh, Opticast. And so I really like that streamlined look. And what's great about that chunk trailer is that when you hop it, if you give it just a little hop, it's got that nice flow to it. If you ever see a crawdad, they kind of push, you know, that tail pushes. So they don't really flare out. They just kind of stay in this nice streamlined look. And in clear water and in cold water, the bass are going to be a lot more tempted to eat that than they are something that's just flaring out very unnaturally. All right, guys, as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You know I love to talk about fishing with you. Hope you guys like these Sunday fun day and quick tip videos. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and you guys rock.